Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Oh, what's the song? And so, yeah, bye bye. Oh, yeah, bye bye. Oh, 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 that's a long time since I heard that song. As I look back, I'm really trying to see just what it was that made us part. Call the fires out, it leaves no doubt. The flame's not burning in our hearts. We ain't young and none of us really have time to find never when to love is spring. Yes, we know the truth. It ain't no use. We're just not each other's everything. And so we must say goodbye. Oh, yeah. Bye bye bye. Oh yeah. Bye bye. Whoa oh 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 oh. I don't want to get carried away. Good morning, y'all. Listen. First of all, let me say congratulations to Wendy Williams for finally having enough of the nonsense, all right? I mean, plus 50 to plus 50. Eh, you know, you just really, really, really don't have the time or the nerves for it no more. You can try to bend it and twist it and try to fit it into that shape that's been there for over 20 years. I get it. I think one of the hardest things, and this is all no jokes aside, um, one of the hardest things in the world sometimes is when you have been with a person so long, like I, you know, having a t over twenty year relationship. You is one of the hardest things because y'all just so addicted to each other. You know that person so well. You know what's going on. You know they ups. You know they downs. You know they inside. And in fact, you know how they think. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, you know. And sometimes people say that, um, oh, you don't know what somebody's thinking. You don't, you know, the hell you don't. Maybe y'all don't understand what your partner is thinking, but yes, you do understand, especially if you've been there 20 years, you pretty much know what they're going to think if you know that person, if you've been studying that person, if you really connected to that person. So um, all of it's come to a head. It's come to an end. And this is, I'm glad that Wendy went to the sober house, but a lot of us don't have the luxury of going to a sober house. And then we don't have, at least we have the luxury of not everybody knowing who we are either. To try to handle this by yourself is one thing. And then to go through it, you know, just in front of the whole world is another. You know, it's a little more crazier. But I'm saying that to say, I'm glad that she, you know, spend that time to herself because sometimes before you can make a big move like that, you got to spend some time to yourself. You have to know um, because if you love this person, it's like Sister Patty said, ain't she Patty said, love don't never die. You know, so um, you, you just have to find, you got to get out of this shit. And since it was a situation where I, she was disrespected and the person was disrespected to the point where you, you allowed them to really show they behind, as we say. You know how they say. Then, then you had to step forward with this and um, take your power back and be like, you know what? Oh, you really messed up now. 
So you messed up. So this 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 ain't gonna keep going like this. And I thank God that you had the courage and you loved yourself enough because, like I said, you the brand, you the you the shit. You know, you don't really have to even worry about that. So Kevin was dead weight, and I understand a lot of times when you feel like you're trying to hold on, or um, because really you it's okay to have a comfort zone. Nobody is going to understand um, a black man or a black woman like a black man or a black woman. So I believe in my heart, the only person that is the compatible companion for you it, um, is somebody from your hue. And now that's just my personal opinion. Okay? Now, um, but you can't cover for people that is trash. People that are trashing you, people who don't see the beauty in you, that don't cater to the beauty in you, and say, "Hey, look here, this is um, true black love going to the highest dimension." Um, that have come from the gutter up, okay? And let's keep this scully because, to me, <laughs> you know, that that's the epitome of success. So this person blew it. Wendy, I'm glad you had the courage to say, is you crazy to think I'm going to keep on putting up with this? Oh, then you had the damn baby. <laughs> it, uh, woo, that was a bit much for you, Wendy. And um, it would be a bit much for anybody. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to make this short. I have an aunt. She's no longer here. And her husband her husband, they were in well in their 70s. And when he got into his 70s, he just real, really, really turned into a damn hellcat. He was crazy. He was going all up and down the streets and soliciting these young whores and um, buying. Y'all already know. I'm trying to keep this real clean. But he was buying sex from these women, these young girls, these these women of the night, and Lord have mercy, the man that contracted something that he couldn't get rid of. Okay? Now, not only did he contract it, what do you think happened to my aunt? Her ass had it too. Okay? And they was in their 70s. So let me say something to y'all. It's hard enough trying to get away from somebody because you know them and you've been with them so long. But it would be the worst thing, too, in the world to have to know somebody that long and have them bring some trash back to you in your house like that. Because that's the least person you should be expecting not to get in that kind of craziness. with. And you already know if somebody hitting somebody raw dog, you already know what time it is. So that's the end of that. It's the end. It's the end. And I'm so glad you woke up. Okay. Because, you know, I know the, the, the situation and I know it's difficult. But sometimes, um, when somebody when somebody doing you like that though, you're you got to get up from there. Okay. So with that being said, I commend you. Take your power back. Nobody has the right to treat anybody like that. Nobody should have the even nerve, should even should have more respect and, and empathy for their wife than to pull some craziness like that. Okay, so goodbye, good riddance, and because Kelvin, you are a mess. So with that being said, I don't want to stay on this uh, kind of gossipy thing. I'm just glad that she found herself because this is abuse, and she was in a, an abusive marriage. Um, and I'm just glad. I'm just glad that she woke up from it. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and leave that alone and toast our Jared <laughs> See you in the next video.